welcome back to Cracking the Code's YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a Mad Lib in Python. It is a great beginner's project. I started off by doing a Mad Lib that was my first Python project. And today I'm going to show you how to do it. All right. So the first thing that I usually like to do is solve out the problem on a piece of paper. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to comment out what steps I need in order for this. Um, program to work. If you don't know what a Madlib is, a Madlib is basically where the computer prompts the user um, a few questions or multiple questions and basically the answers that the user gives, they input, in, in, they input it into a sentence. You don't know what your answers are going to be inputted to into a sentence so it usually ends up being really weird or funny at times. So let's get started. Now the first thing I know is that um, it needs user input. The program needs to have some answers from the person that's using it. Um, all right, so I'm gonna comment out user input. Um, what else do we need? We need to have the actual sentence. And that's pretty much it. We just take input from the user and then we put it into a sentence that we have already pre-program made. So if you guys want to make your own Matlib, I recommend that you start off with three or four sentences, keep it like short, minimal, and um, basically write it out from before and like leave blanks. This is what I've done in my code. I've basically just um, put spaces where I want to have the user's answers in, and I've basically built the sentence structure. So now, I am ready to actually code my um, Madlib. All right, so in order for user input, you use the input function. The input function basically um, gets the person who's using your program's answer um, to a certain question. So let's do input. Um, the first question that I want to answer is, what is your name? So I want to ask them, what is your name? I usually keep a space after my question, so there's a space where the user gives their answer. Um, and now I'm just going to input all of these questions that I want to answer. So I'm going to fast forward this clip and I'm going to ask the questions necessary in order to fill in these blanks. All right, so as you guys saw, I had this sentence already built. I even added on some components to the sentence. Um, for the amount of blanks I have, I have the same amount of input. Now let's try to run this code. As you can see, it will ask me the questions. Okay, so I answered all these questions, but what is it going to do with them? This is when I would assign my inputs to a certain variable so that when I want to write my sentence, I can just call on that variable and it will use the user's answer. I'll explain what I mean. So I'm going to um, assign this whole input to a variable called name. It gets stored inside the variable called name. And then um, when I want to actually type it out, all I have to do is call on the variable, I will just say name, and the answer that the user gives for that, they will print it out onto the sentence. So let me quickly do that for all of this. I have assigned, um, all these inputs to a variable, and I made the variable make sense. I didn't write gibberish, so I just said noun one, noun two, time one, time two, name. I just gave it um, a variable that is named related to this the question that I'm asking the user. All right, now to actually print out the sentence, um, I'm going to use a function called fprint, or you can just call it formatted printing. What I'm going to do is a regular print is like this. But a printf 
is like this. So now when you actually type in the sentence, you can say hello and you can use curly braces um, or curly brackets in order to put your variable name. So let's say I just print this out, hello name. Let me just type gibberish. It said hello to the answer that I gave today. So now I'm going to do that for the entire sentence, except I'm not going to say print. Um, I'm going to assign this whole sentence to a variable and then I will print that variable out at the end. Okay. So now I have assigned this whole sentence to a variable called Madlib. I mean, I can do just print F here, but if I, for my, um, for my aesthetic purposes, I'm going to put the print and then I will print out this variable called Madlib. All right, so now let's recap what we have done here. We've asked for the user's input and the user's input gets stored into separate variables. Then we have made a sentence using the f um, print function and we have made our sentence and in our curly braces we have put in these variables into the proper blanks. We've assigned then this sentence to a variable called madlib and we are printing madlib out. So now let's run it. All right, now I've officially made my Mad Lib. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you like tutorials, comment below because I don't know if you guys found these tutorials proper. So just let me know in the comments down below. Um, turn on your post bell notification to know when I post a video and I will see you guys next time. Bye everyone.